Our first stop is Intramuros, the walled city. A stone's throw away from the hustle and bustle of modern Manila, Intramuros stands as a testament to the city's rich past. This historic district, one of the oldest in the city, is a beautiful remnant of the Spanish colonial period. Its name, Intramuros, literally translates to within the walls. And oh, what grand walls they are. These formidable fortifications have witnessed centuries of history, protecting the city within from invaders and time itself. Strolling through the cobblestone streets, you can almost hear the clattering of horse-drawn carriages and see the grandeur of a bygone era. The city is a living museum, each corner whispering tales of the Spanish colonial period. Gothic churches, grand mansions and beautifully preserved ruins blend seamlessly with the vibrant life of the present, creating a unique tapestry of past and present. Intramuros, a step back in time, enveloped in walls of history and allure. Next we move to Rizal Park, the heart of Manila. This expansive urban oasis, named after the national hero of the Philippines, Dr. Jose Rizal, is more than just a green space. It's a living testament to the nation's past, its struggles and triumphs. Here, the towering Rizal monument stands as a symbol of the country's enduring spirit, a marker of the place where Rizal himself was executed, sparking the flame of revolution. But Rizal Park is not solely steeped in history. It's also a favorite leisure spot for both locals and tourists. The park's verdant lawns, blooming gardens and tranquil lagoons provide a much needed respite from the city's hustle and bustle. Children's laughter fills the playgrounds, families picnic under the shade of ancient trees and couples walk hand in hand along peaceful pathways. This is Rizal Park where history and leisure intertwine. Now let's dive into the Manila Ocean Park. Imagine a world beneath the sea, teeming with vibrant marine life and aquatic wonders. Welcome to Manila Ocean Park, a marine-themed park and oceanarium that brings you face-to-face -face with the mysteries of the ocean. Equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, this park is home to a diverse range of sea creatures from playful sea lions to majestic sharks, all living in meticulously maintained habitats. A walk through the tunnel of the Oceanarium is like stepping into an underwater realm with a panoramic view of the marine spectacle. Beyond the Oceanarium, the park offers interactive exhibits and educational programs, making it a perfect place for both thrill-seekers and knowledge enthusiasts. You can touch starfish, feed penguins or even have a mermaid makeover. Manila Ocean Park isn't just an attraction, it's an adventure that takes you deep into the heart of the ocean and leaves you with unforgettable memories. Manila Ocean Park, where sea life comes alive. Let's march to Fort Santiago, a citadel once witness to Manila's past. This fortress, sitting majestically by the Pasig River, has seen the ebb and flow of power, from Spanish conquistadors to American liberators. But it's not all about conflict and conquest. Fort Santiago also played a pivotal role in the life of the Philippines' national hero, Jose Rizal. Arrested for rebellion, sedition and conspiracy, Rizal drew his last breath here. Yet his words and deeds live on, echoing through the halls and corridors of the fort. Today, Fort Santiago's historical significance is complemented by its serene beauty. Its lush gardens, blooming with tropical flora, offer a tranquil escape from the city's hustle and bustle. And the plazas, oh, they're perfect for a leisurely stroll or a quiet contemplation of the past. So when in Manila, don't miss the chance to step into history and experience the timeless allure of Fort Santiago, a silent witness to Manila's transformation. Next, we journey through art and history at the National Museum of the Philippines. A treasure trove of the Filipino spirit, this museum is the guardian of Philippine art, culture and history. Its halls echo with the voice of the past, whispering tales of valor, creativity and resilience. From the hauntingly beautiful spoliarium painting to the intricate designs of tribal textiles, every artifact is a piece of the Filipino story. The museum houses an impressive collection of historical documents, ancient pottery and stunning art pieces, each with its own tale to tell. The exhibitions are a testament to the nation's rich tapestry of cultures, a melting pot of influences from indigenous tribes to Spanish colonizers. Here, history is not just read, it's experienced. Every visit is a journey, a trip down memory lane, a voyage through the heart and soul of the Philippines. And so we leave, but not without a piece of history in our hearts. National Museum, a timeless capsule of Philippine heritage. 
Now we venture into Binondo, the world's oldest Chinatown. A fascinating fusion of cultures, Binondo is a bustling hub of activity that never sleeps. The streets, always vibrant and teeming with life, are an eclectic mix of old and new, where age-old traditions meet modern influences. As you explore, the tantalizing aroma of food wafts through the air, leading you to an array of eateries that serve an amazing array of dishes. From the traditional dim sum and Peking duck, to the unique Filipino-Chinese delicacies, your taste buds are in for a treat. The food scene here is a gastronomic adventure, a testament to the fusion of Chinese and Filipino cultures that Binondo represents. Every corner of Binondo is filled with shops selling everything from traditional Chinese medicine to handmade trinkets. The streets are a shopper's paradise offering an intriguing variety of goods that reflect the unique culture of this place. Binondo, where Manila's east meets west, eats Let's step into the San Agustin Church, an architectural marvel. This church is a masterpiece of the Baroque style, a dramatic, highly detailed and grand style of architecture that originated in Italy. Its intricate carvings, ornate frescoes and towering spires are a sight to behold, a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of the era. Beyond its beauty, San Agustin Church holds a significant place in history. It has withstood the test of time, surviving earthquakes and wars, and has become a symbol of Manila's resilience. And here's a feather in its cap. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This prestigious title recognizes its outstanding universal value, a beacon of culture and history that resonates across borders. One can't help but marvel at the San Agustin Church. It's not just a place of worship, but a piece of living history, an art canvas, and a symbol of resilience. San Agustin Church, a testament to Manila's enduring faith. Next, we explore the Mall of Asia, a shopping paradise. This gargantuan shopping complex stretches over a staggering 4.2 million square feet, making it one of the largest malls in the world. Here you'll find an eclectic mix of high-end designer boutiques, local artisan shops, and everything in between. But shopping isn't the only attraction. A smorgasbord of dining options await, from gourmet international cuisine to mouth-watering local delicacies. Entertainment abounds with a bustling cinema complex, a state-of-the-art theatre and even an Olympic-sized ice skating rink. And just when you think the Mall of Asia couldn't possibly offer more, there's the stunning Esplanade. This waterfront promenade offers a breathtaking view of Manila Bay. As you stroll along, the hustle and bustle of the mall fades into the background, replaced by the serene beauty of the bay. Mall of Asia, where shopping meets spectacular views, Let's stroll into Ayala Triangle Gardens, an urban oasis. Nestled in the heart of Makati, Manila's central business district, Ayala Triangle Gardens offers a tranquil retreat from the city's hustle and bustle. This verdant sanctuary serves as a refreshing contrast to the surrounding skyscrapers, providing a breath of fresh air and a touch of nature amidst the urban landscape. During the festive season, the gardens transform into a magical spectacle, adorned with a stunning lights display that attracts locals and tourists alike. It's a mesmerizing sight as the trees twinkle under the night sky, casting a warm glow over the park. But Ayala Triangle Gardens isn't just about greenery and lights. It also boasts a diverse selection of restaurants, ranging from local Filipino cuisine to international delights. Whether you're a foodie or simply looking for a place to unwind, you'll find something to suit your palate. Ayala Triangle Gardens, a breath of fresh air amidst urban hustle. Finally, we unwind at the Manila Bay Walk, a sunset lover's dream. This stretch of palm-lined promenade is the city's front row seat to nature's grand spectacle, the setting sun. Every evening, the sky becomes a canvas, painted with hues of orange, pink and purple, casting a warm glow over the tranquil Manila Bay. As the day turns to night, the Bay Walk comes alive with a vibrant energy. The air fills with laughter, music and the buzz of conversation. It's an open-air party where everyone's invited. Street performers bring smiles and applause while local vendors offer a taste of Manila's culinary culture, from tangy barbecue skewers to sweet mangoes on a stick. The charm of Manila Baywalk doesn't just lie in its stunning sunsets or lively nightlife, but in its ability to bring together people from all walks of life. It's a place where the city's hustle and bustle meets the calm of the sea. Manila Bay Walk, where the city meets the sea under a painter's sky.